So welcome back. Last week we talked about the MIDI interface, the control voltage, and the gate. This week we're going to talk about the envelope generator, the ADSR. And we're going to take that gate, connect it, and we're going to walk through how that works. So let's put one in and check it out. Okay, so this is our envelope generator. We have ADSR, attack, decay, sustain, release. Let's mount this in our box. We're going to hook up the power. So this is a page from the information packet that comes with the Q109. You'll notice there's two graphs. The one on the top is the gate and the one on the bottom is the output of the envelope generator. If we were to take this picture and animate it, let's see what that would look like. So in this animation, the two critical times is when the gate goes up and when the gate comes down. This animation pauses for a moment at those two points so you can just see what's going on. So let's start it. Okay, so we key down, we pause it right there just to see what's going on. The bottom output of the envelope generator is going to begin to climb and go through the decay cycle as well. And then the key lets go and it enters into the release cycle. So here's an animation of it just running real time with no pauses. So we're able to modify the gate signal with the envelope generator. Next is a screen grab from a software synthesizer that has a really great representation of the envelope generators. The top represents a gate and the bottom represents the output of the envelope generator. So let's have a look at the envelope generator. Right now I have the attack set to minimum, mid, mid, mid. So we're getting a, an immediate attack. The, by the way, on the scope, the top line is the gate, the bottom line is the output of the generator. So the gate is what's going into the generator and this bottom line is what's coming out. So we get an immediate attack on both of them. But then the bottom one dies down to this mid setting on the sustain. If I turn this up, now it decays down to a higher level, about three-fourths. If I turn it all the way up, it just stays high. It doesn't really matter where this is. Because this decays down to this setting. This setting is at full. This decays from full to this setting. It's already full. Can't go anywhere. And by the way, if I turn the release off, tack low, release low, sustain full. Now they're both a gate. That's exactly what a gate looks like. So yes, you could use a gate to modulate something that's voltage controlled, but you're very limited to this one setting off like an organ. What if I want to do a, like a violin and I want to have a slow sound come in or a flute? Or I want to have, uh, have it release after I let go of the key. See the blue line goes away, no gate, but we still have envelope generator running. And another very popular use is to get a percussive sound, like a pluck, like maybe a guitar. So I'm going to turn sustain down a little, like about a third, turn the decay down to about uh, a fourth. So we have a fast attack, pretty fast decay down to this sustain level. And we get a kind of a plucky sound. turn this all the way down. Very percussive.
So even with just four controls, this is a very, very useful and flexible module. Uh, this envelope generator can turn sound on and off like an amplifier or it can modify the sound like going through a filter. You could send it over to the oscillator and have it connected to the voltage control pulse width and have the pulse width change over time with this or even the pitch. Uh, and there's many, many other things. So this is an essential, gotta have it, gotta have an envelope generator. In fact, I recommend that you have two. Uh, I have two in this build and I absolutely recommend you have a minimum of two envelope generators. Typically, traditionally, you would use one for the amplifier and one for the filter. But like I say, there's many other uses. You don't need to know any of these numbers. The whole cool thing about it is you just play it, you adjust it till the sound gets to where you want it. And that's the beauty of uh, analog synthesizers. So that's the envelope generator. Now we're going to connect it to a VCA. So in the next episode, be sure and stay tuned. Come on back, uh, like the video, and we'll see you then.